Hi, in this um, video I would like to show you how to use custom objects and refer to the commerce tools resource using the reference. So to start with, let me go to custom objects and I want to create a custom object and before that let's take a look into the I mean the custom objects documentation so if you look at the custom object draft container I need to pass key and value the value can be a JSON type number string boolean array or object and it also says that it's possible to put a reference to another object with the following example so I can pass an order and I can say it as a type ID and ID I can pass this information and we could take a look what those references are so we can pass these references so in this example i would like to take an example of referencing a product i'd like to reference a product so for that i'm going to go to my merchant center and that i'm gonna grab one product and try to get its product id Meanwhile, it takes time. I can also already, I have already prepared the format for it. Container, reference demo container, product reference key, and a value type ID product, and I have to put the product here. So I'm gonna change this based on the example based on the example here you can see that I have to pass order and type ID and ID so I think it's gonna be with product and you can pass like this so it's much more easy clear to understand and, and just to make some implementation so that it's clear what I'm doing. So I'm storing a value which is a product of type ID product and ID. And let me try to grab some product here. I'm gonna pick some product ID which is gonna be this. And I'm going to replace this product ID value with this. Now I'm going to run. I take a couple of seconds. Okay, my product is created now. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to copy this my custom object ID. And now I'm going to query custom object with ID. Uh, let's see we get yes I get it but now I can use this expansion and I can get the details of the product in the same request value dot product dot ID now you see here the ID I get all the detailed information about this product Rice information, categories, master variant. So this way you can be able to get the data in a single request so that you can prevent sending multiple requests. And just to show you, again, if I don't pass the uh, expansion, I just get the custom object. But if I pass the reference expansion, .id, I get the full details about the product ID information for that particular ID. I hope this is uh, useful to understand how you can use custom object with a reference and how you can fetch the reference um, expansion so that you can get prevent multiple calls and you can get the details. Thank you.